Welcome back to Sealed by the Tao. And today we are on the seventh letter of the Hebrew alphabet, the letter Sayin. Sayin means sword or weapon. We rejoice in knowing God has not left us defenseless. He has given us spiritual weapons, as mentioned in 2 Corinthians 10.4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. The sword is the living word of God, the truth that sets us free. We fight not with our strength, but with the power that comes from the word of God. Because the, the sword is the rima of God, the spoken word of God. When we are marked by Zion, our minds are transformed. Zion enables, enables our mind to know and understand the profoundness of God's revealed word. The Bible actually compares the sword to God's word. We're going to read that in Hebrews 4.12. Because God's word is living, active, and sharper than any two-edged sword. It penetrates to the point that it separates the soul from the spirit and the joints from the marrow. It's able to judge the heart's thoughts and intentions. So how many of us have read God's word and found it difficult to understand the message? Zion is not word created by man. It is the word of God supernaturally placed on our lips. There is revelation through the Spirit that helps us conquer against the lies of this world. And it guides us to the truth. It guides us to Jesus. Because none of us will be able to see the Father if it's not through the Son. So being marked by Zion encourages us to seek the doctrine and live by the doctrine. This sword helps us fight off the many different doctrines that the world is going to try to throw at us. We will remain firm on that rock which is Jesus Christ. In Psalms 1, 2 to 3 states, Instead of doing those things, these persons love the Lord's instructions, and they recite God's instructions day and night. They are like a tree replanted by streams of water, which bears fruit at just the right time and whose leaves don't fade. Whatever they do succeeds. I encourage you all to continue to study the letter Zion, because God has so much more for all of us. And see you next time on the next letter. God bless.